Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. It's me, Taffy, and we are going to go ahead and jump back into survival day 32 with uh, Abigail, Wendy. Wendy and Abigail are a dynamic duo of, of living sister and dead sister, uh, which, you know, got to collect them all, I suppose. That flagged me on at least one government website, and there's not a whole lot I can do to undo that. So maybe I should just practice better verbal in person, in post control. I just went into my sort of King, Kim Jong Ily place. Um, so we should be climbing out of winter relatively soon. What the hell were we doing when I, when last I was here? Uh, we're okay, so we're 100% uh, bringing bringing down the dehydrated meat trail. Um, we got some food that's cooked. Uh, we probably have a butt ton of rabbits, which that, that might just kind of be where we are right now. It's just a butt ton of rabbits. Um, I'm going to add fuel to this so I can kind of see better. I don't know exactly what's going on. Um, just kind of poke our heads around here. Uh, you know, we'll repopulate our rabbit traps. I think we were haunting the... the we were ha uh, hunting the Snuffleupagus, I think, when, when last we were here. So maybe that's what we'll do this time. Uh, as we're heading out, we do have enough stuff that we need for a fire, so that's good. Uh, we should probably gather some things so we can build some traps. I've got a feeling some replacement traps are going to be needed in the not so distant future. Nothing really going on here. Not really worried about the winterometer. I could probably put it up. I think I'll do bee boxes. I'll work on bee boxes next next summer. Um, I'm kind of curious. Like I might put the winter winterometer. Let's go ahead and do a winterometer. Um, winterometer. I'd just like to know when this is all going to be done. So we'll set that there. Uh, I don't know what that, uh, now I can't read it, so I'm just like, whatever. Uh, let's come down here, we'll check traps. We definitely could use more stuff for traps. That trap, I think, just disintegrated in our hands. Uh, so, as we run around, we will gather twigs. What's going on, guys? Oh, you know, hold on to all your eggs, it's kind of a dick move. We have the walking stick, or the pimp cane, as I was referring to it earlier. Uh, which means that we have the ability to haul ass, which is great. Uh, we'll come down here and look around for some randomly spawned uh, Snuffleupagus tracks. And we'll also look for twigs. I think we were just kind of searching in general to, to flesh out the area in which we live. Uh, so this is the edge here. This is the edge down here. I want to kind of check out this area. Um, I think this is an edge as well. If not, we should totally flesh out this part. It makes no sense not to know what our surroundings are. We do know that this is the edge here. So there is a big jut of water probably here unless this branches out that direction. So uh, let's take a look-see doodle. Uh, we'll 100% grab up the twigs we can find along the way so that maybe we can make some traps. Is this, do we know that this is the edge? We do know that this is the edge. Okay. So we'll grab saplings. Winter, the first winter at least, has not been as bad as I thought it would be. I don't want to jinx it because now I'm going to get murdered by something. The deer clops is going to show up or something like that. But um, if you're built in a situation where you're ready ready and can survive, then, uh, then winter's not terrible. I hear something horrible. You hear that? That sounded terrifying. Do you hear that? I have no problem hauling ass and or lighting this entire jungle on fire. I will light this whole area on fire. Chester! 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 Thank you. You know what? Bring it on. I will light this whole... I mean, obviously, I've already lit this whole area on fire. I will light this whole area on fire again. I will collect you. Oh, hey. Free, uh, free healing stuff. Chester, you would be doing me a huge favor if you would contribute to the team right now. There we go. Oh, you got some, uh shit that's rotten in you. Good you. Let's just set that down and leave it then. Alright, so I hear the deer clops. And I know it's a horrible and terrifying thing. Um. Alright, honey. Go to work. In all honesty, we could use the... 
He could 100% use the uh, use the silk. I'm not gonna lie. Oh. All right, cool. Um, I may have to start a fire here. Uh, I may have to start a fire here and get my. I may have to start a fire here and get my heat stone back up again before I can move. But that's all right. I'm okay with that. We know that the deer clops is out here somewhere. I'm gonna destroy him. If he comes anywhere near me, like even remotely near me, I will not hesitate to blast him in the face. We can freeze him, so... Oh my god, this is the tankiest... Um, shit. Drop. Silk. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. We got to... We have to, uh, put that in Chester. And we will, um, build a fire. Cool. Heat up our stone. And then we can make the walk back. I suppose. I don't see why not. Um... I don't really need pine cones for anything. Let's just, I guess, plant them to get them out of the way. We'll keep the uh, the tree guard protector from coming back and wrecking us mostly in the face. Um, boy, stone could do something here. Come on, buddy. It's time to contribute. There we go. I guess uh, if the... Deer Klopp shows up, then so be it. We will battle his face, man. Um, I don't want to. I really don't want to. Alright, is that pretty warm? I feel like that's pretty warm. Let's grab it and go. I think we can get out of here in time. Especially with the, uh... Especially with the, uh... Come on, lady. Especially with the, the pimp stick. The pimp, pimp cane. The walking stick. I am s Oh my god, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my god, here he comes. Um what are we gonna do? Wow, okay. Um here's what we do. We're gonna burn this motherfucker down, Pookie. No, we're gonna freeze him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Come on. I'm not afraid of you. Oh god, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, we need, uh, a torch. We're gonna light him on fire. And we're gonna build another fire so I can survive the night. No? Okay. So he wrecked my sister's world. No, not 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 examine Evergreen. Pick up sister. Pick up sister. There we go. Okay. Um. So there's that. That would be the deer clops if anybody's interested. He is apparently death incarnate. Um, so there, we have that on our mind now. I tried to murder him. Instead, I just ended up using up my, uh, instead I just ended up using up my, uh, my f f frost staff. Sorry, I'm so terrified of him right now that I'm actually stuttering. So, I guess we go back and we eat, and I don't know what to do with him. I don't know, I, I froze him, I thought that would be enough. I set the world on fire around him, I thought that would be enough. I sicked my sister on him. He killed her again. Um, I'm not rightly sure what happens now. Uh, <laughs> your guess is as good as mine, man. If you've killed the deer clops, then you, uh, you let me know how this goes down. I'm gonna go back and eat some meatballs and dry some meat and just pretend that I never saw him. I'm just gonna pretend like that shit never happened. I'll heal. Go. I got some spider eggs. I got some monster meat I could eat if I was desperate. I'm not desperate. Oh, this game never ceases to uh, surprise the shit out of you. So, um. Oh, Jesus God, he's coming back this way. 
I want him dead. I want his family dead. I want everyone he's ever done business with dead. Uh, but more than anything, I mean, I guess I'm just gracious that if I found him, it wasn't anywhere near where I lived. Uh, that said, I'm not going to waste a trip out here. You can't make me. I I'm going to continue to explore. And to explore means, I think, to go here. We basically found the edges of everything here. So we'll finish off this walk, uh, basically, into this part of town. We'll see whether or not uh, the deer clops is still laying waste to everything. If he is, I might just go pick up stuff behind him. Uh, he, he basically comes into, comes into an area, wrecks the shit out of it, and then we can come in behind him. We need food. I might not, this probably isn't the best idea. I probably should just go back and eat the meatballs. He comes in and wrecks stuff, and we could, if it's long as it's not our base, we could come out ahead if we just gather up all the things that he leaves behind. Uh, but that said, uh, we're pretty close to starving to death, which is problematic. Do that. Oh, I don't have it in me to pick this fight. Alright, let's go. We did a pretty decent job, I think, of exploring this area. We gathered some mushrooms, which we can cook in the crock pot. Come here, Chester. We managed to get rid of our sister, which I actually think is a good thing. I, I, she's bad for morale. I'll go with that. She's probably helpful. She's probably actually really useful. I think she's bad for morale. I don't like having her around. Alright, let's get back. We can go back and cook some monster meat and some mushrooms. If we crockpot the mushrooms, I don't think we take the... Uh, uh, if we crockpot the mushrooms, I don't think we take the hit. We're in a place, though, where we need food pretty, pretty, pretty quickly here. Um, this will forever be where we uh, battled the deer clops. Chester! Oh, come on, man. I need you to... I, I don't have it in me. I don't care. I don't care. There's too much shit. I, I cleared out this forest, and nothing good came of it, so I'm just ready to go back now. I'm terrified. Bad juju. Going all up, down, all around. Welcome now to Terror Town. Another J. Smith OTI shout out. Um... Alright, so we're going to go back and eat, and then maybe we'll go explore somewhere that the Deer Clops isn't. I'm A-OK -okay with not seeing him again for a very long time. Rotten eggs, huh? Alright. Good, 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 good. Let's get in here and do this. You can do it whenever... Oh my god, okay. First of all, let's fix my perspective. I feel messed up right now. Eat. That fixes that. We'll hang some fresh meat. Eat. Oh my god, lady, you are driving me insane. What can I put in this guy's gullet that will save me time and effort? Uh, well, here, let's do this. I mean, as long as we're in the general area. Um... I still am not, you know, I'm still not 100% out of the woods here. I mean, ultimately, ultimately, I I am still really scared on a daily basis. Uh, this game has given me no reason to think that it's going to go easy on me uh, or allow me to be happy ever. I, I just think that ultimately, at some point, I'm going to make a misstep. I know I'm going to make a misstep, but at some point, I'm going to make a misstep, and the game's going to be more than more than geeked to uh, to help me. Uh, in my own life, it'll be very much something out of Stephen King's The Shining. The Shinnin. We, uh, continue to just flat out gank these rabbits in the face. I just want to survive winter so that I can get working on cool stuff, like, uh... I want, I want the bee boxes. I want to kill the Snuffleupagus. I want to kill a lot of stuff. So, uh, at this point we can 100% cook. Here's what we're gonna do. We're... Chester. Give me that. I don't know if it gets less toxic if you cook it. I feel like that would be the case. Like, logic tells me that that would be the case. Uh, likewise, I feel like these would get less toxic if you cook them. If nothing else, we have nothing else to do right now. So, um, we'll take our cooked mushroom caps. Uh, which, ironically, I think should have been Grayson's name. Mushroom caps. There we go. We'll see what that turns into. And then we'll actually cook this cooked morsel, and we'll see what that b 
becomes. Um, shoot. This is the, the one thing I don't like about winter is there's so little for us to actually accomplish. I didn't pick up nearly enough. Uh, oh, we can do that now, I guess. Oh my god. Okay. Um, just go ahead and set this in here. We'll do one in each of these. There. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I don't need a hound's tooth. I, I really, really don't need a hound's tooth. Thank you. Uh, metal potato thing. Uh, more rabbits. Do I, uh, just kind of winging it here. That's an empty one, right? All right, we can put away our silk because we're not going to need that anywhere else. We need the rabbit earmuffs because the moment this thing goes, we could be done for a little bit. Um, I know we have a sewing kit somewhere too. Where's our sewing kit? Is it in this one? Sewing kit. Yeah, sewing kit. Um, there we go. Uh, not going anywhere for now. Winter hat gets 50% of its 50% uh, of its dur 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 durability back. Man, oh man. I think I, could, I nosebleed getting that word out. Uh, yeah, man. I, I like that we're surviving winter. I don't like the fact that uh, it's taking such a ridiculous long time to do it this is a very tedious it's exciting for the first couple of days but it becomes really tedious uh, after the fact I mean hell as long as we're here what else can we build can we build uh, a sign I guess I could start work on like I guess I could start work on things like a wall practical things like a wall phone's ringing dude thanks Donnie <clears throat> I guess we just wait out the night now, singing, singing Christmas ballads. I don't know what else to do here. Uh, can't believe we actually got uh, regular old meatballs out of that. So if I hadn't burned down most of the forest, I would probably pretty happily just come over here and start chopping wood and getting ready to build ourselves a, a nice wall. And then I think what we'll do is we'll create our sort of bee farm over here and just kind of take like we said this before but i think we're going to take over this bottleneck essentially and we'll just wooden wall around one wooden wall around the other uh and we'll hope against hope that we are far away enough from the deer clops that he will not rain down his furious anger on me we'll take one more day and we'll explore out this this direction um and then hopefully what i can do is i can set up a couple of fire pits and i, I like i'll make this into a city for all i care um we can ultimately just make this into a, an area where uh, we have fires and stacks of fuel everywhere, and then that way we won't be so limited at night, uh, especially during the winters with what we can do. Uh, I would like to be able to basically just do whatever it is that we want to do. You know, when it's nighttime, we, we will at least have several options of things we can accomplish during the evening. Press to hit a tater. We pan flute. We have not found a single... Uh, we have not found a uh, meat effigy. We need a meat effigy. Beard hair. Well, that's unfortunate because we don't have a beard. So, yeah. Pan flute. We haven't found any mandrakes yet. Or any reeds for that matter. One man ban. Uh, gold nugget. Sh nightmare fuel. Pig skin. We have not yet killed a pig. I guess we'd go grave robin. I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss right that, at this point. I'm, I'm not really sure exactly what to do. What else could I ditch that I don't really need? I don't really need... I don't really need saplings. Did I put those in there? Okay. I don't really need saplings. I don't really need... Well, I do need cut grass. I need cut grass. So I'm going to be able to start a fire. I also need more wood. So we are actually going to uh, make sure to do that. First things first. Let's take the meatballs with us. All right, so like I said, we're gonna take our time and go out and explore the right-hand side here of our of this area. The rotten eggs have come. Can we cook those? Like how how rotten are they? I don't know. Let's collect them. Let's see what happens when we collect them. If I can cook those, maybe they'll be useful. I don't know what uh, you know. I haven't seen a, a single recipe with them yet, so I'm not really sure what that entails. We totally left our heat stone behind. That's not going to work. We can't do that. 
So let's go get our heat stone. Fortunately, like I said, pimp stick. Pimp stick will make us move fast enough that, that it is 100% worth having it. Thank you, McTusk, for yielding us your walrus tooth. Um, I'd say I feel bad about... I felt bad about taking it, but I didn't. Well, okay. If nothing else, we can heat it up on the fly. Let's, uh... Let's mosey. We'll check out the far right-hand side. Then we'll explore out to the far, far right. And we'll see what happens there. It looks like things are getting better. It looked like the temperature had gone up a little bit on my winterometer. Uh, we see rain, which is fine. I've got the lightning rod set up, so that should protect our investment back at home. Um, yeah, man. If it's raining, then it means it's not as cold. It doesn't look like it's as cold, and it doesn't look like we have as much dusk to deal with, so... Day 35, it looks like we're on our way out of it, which is great. Uh, it means we can get some stuff accomplished now. The bees have not come out yet, which leads me to believe that I'm not out of winter yet. Uh, but that said, man, you gotta feel good about coming out on the other side. We're seeing some berry bushes, which may have just lasted through the winter. Uh, but that's still food, food that we can cook and eat. Uh, I do have enough for a fire now, yes? No. Okay, well let's fix that right away, because that's never a mistake we're gonna make again. We'll eat our meatballs. Why is my sanity going down? Is it because it's raining? Holy shit. That was uncalled for. Uh, let's eat. There. Why is my sanity going down? Why are you straight tripping, girl? You know, why have we not looked off to the left yet? And why are we not rocking the pimp cane? Let's find out. My sanity's going down. I couldn't even begin to tell you why. Alright, so we're gathering resources now. And once the bees come out uh, and the rabbits go back to normal, we'll make bee boxes. And I'm not really sure what else, but we will start uh, working on our wall. It starts snowing again here, which is... Uh, I mean, I... Oh, shit. McTuss, not again, man. Okay, well, let's do this. Fire fire. What do you want, McTusk? Oh, you're gonna mock me, huh? You see this stick? You see this stick I've got? Don't make me, son. Don't make me. Because I will 100% wreck you. I'm gonna heat up my heat stone. If you want, we can throw. Allow me to demonstrate. Uh-huh. Oh! Really? I take a hit for that, huh? Oh, serious? Chester! Chester! Dicks! Come on, Abigail. Come on, come back. Come back to me. <laughs> yeah, come get some. McTusk. Oh, McTusk, you dick. Alright, let's leave. Oh, oh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I want my heat stone. I didn't do anything to him. That dude took on the most helpless, fucking miserable little bastard in my entire clan. I'm gonna light you on fire, bro. Oh, when Abigail's done, when Abigail's ready, we're coming back. Oh, we're coming back. Yeah, that it's on like Donkey Kong. Do I still have enough for a fire? I don't. What am I missing? missing uh oh god get away from my get away from chester i don't understand what did chester ever do to you big strong man you big strong man gonna fight gonna fight chester oh jesus yeah you know what buddy i feel much the same way about wow i'm gonna oh no 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 pimp cane pimp cane pimp cane pimp cane tim cane wow I don't feel nearly as bad about killing him before. What a jerk off. Man, oh man. Can you believe that shit? Well, now my goal in life is to fuck up McTusk. Well, I need to heal myself now. I suppose I could pick some flowers. I'm not crazy about the idea. I want to have some flowers around. For when the bees come back, I guess I could just jack up some butterflies. 
I'm gonna eat soon too, so that'll help bring back some of my health. I'm really lucky I didn't die there, to tell you the honest truth. I got a little brazen about what I think, what I thought I could accomplish. I thought I heard bees. Are the bees out yet? They're not out. They gotta be getting close. We gotta be getting close to not being, uh, in a place. Oh! What happened here? Um, Chester, come here, man. I don't know what happened, but we're not gonna look at gift horse in the mouth. Steal a morsel. Come on, come on, Chester. Uh, it's getting close. Getting close to dark here. All right, so we're gonna just take a board. We're not gonna, not gonna do this dance of death here. All right, well that sucked. Uh, what a weird turn of events. Uh, McTusk is an asshole and deserves to die. And our uh, farms are growing again. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's exciting. Let's cook some food. We got all sorts of stuff just laying around. We've got carrots and we've got. Uh, meat that's just chilling. We got these massive, uh, like, turkey ham hocks going on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this green mushroom. I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna put it in a crock pot. I need, uh, seeds, ironically enough. I've gotten rid of almost all my seeds. So, we're gonna cook that along with the morsel. And, uh, yeah, Chester. Yes, sir. Shit. All right, here we go. Yep, 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 I hear him. Almost here, huh? All right, Chester, get behind me, bro. You know what, you just sleep, it's fine. Uh, okay, here we go. I think we can get him just fine. We've got a pretty good amount of, we got a pretty good amount of Percentage of durability left on our log suit. We've got a, a spear that's at 50%. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Yep, let's do this. It's gonna be daytime soon. Come on, Abigail. Deer Clops, man, is throwing a huge monkey wrench in my plans. Here they come. Here they come. Alright. That went okay. Not great, but okay. Oh god, okay, we're taking a beating. Oh, there's so many of them! Oh god. Um, Abby? 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 Almost here, huh? Alright, well I gotta just run. I gotta run until I can get away. Uh, I gotta run until... Spoiled egg, spoiled egg, rotten egg. I don't want to lose you, Chester, but I, I can't wait for you this time, brother. Uh, pigs, um, pig house, no. Let's take him to the beefalo. Now we're getting our asses beat there for a second. Uh, flowers, flowers. Where are they? I don't know where they went. Oh, cool. We ran them into the bees. That'll work. Wow, the bees jacked them up. That actually worked remarkably well. I'll figure out the flower situation later. Alright, so we know that McTusk is up there, and Abby is almost back around, but the problem is I can't even take a hit right now. I can't. I can't take a single solitary hit, or I'll be... Oh, but this... Okay. Maybe Abigail will be put back together again by the time we get there. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I need the health, but there's nothing I can really do right now. I don't even know if I can slow it down. This is a bad idea. I got, I got health, I got health issues, I just, uh, I got health issues I need to sort to, you, see to you first, it's a suicide mission. Oh, but it's right there. Teasing me, taunting me, and Abigail, she's back. Let's do it. 
Fortune favors the bold. Wow, that was close. I really... Oh my god, so much bad could happen here. It's a horrible idea. It's a horrible idea. Okay, we're going into a place where we get struck by lightning, we get burned. Um, too much bad can happen. What we really just need to do is we need to go collect as many flowers as we can. Uh, we need to collect as many flowers as we can and just go and get our health up as fast as humanly possible. That's what needs to happen. That's what we're going to do. We're going to keep this world alive. We're not going to play recklessly, which is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to talk myself into playing recklessly. The bees are not even going to come out anymore because I'm going to destroy their entire pollination plan. There should be no flowers for them to come out and visit. And I'm sorry, bees, and I'm sorry that I'm worse than cell phones for you right now, but... Tappy's health sucks, and I can't even afford to fight you guys for your life-giving honey. I certainly can't afford to go fight spiders for their life-giving... I don't know what that is. Venom sack, for some reason, that heals me. But whatever, their, their healing gland, which they apparently have. Uh, so right now, I'm just going to collect all the flowers, and then in springtime, I'll murder butterflies and replant the flowers, or I'll go pick the flowers from somewhere else. But our biggest problem right now is that we have no health. So let's... Take a minute to fix that. Thankfully, we accidentally were smart enough to walk. We were accidentally smart enough to walk the hellhounds into uh, a bunch of beehives, and the beehives did the rest of the heavy lifting for us. So, um, I would love to just continue to gather flowers, put myself in a situation where I can survive a couple more days. I think day 37 is the end of winter. Um, if that were to happen, if we were to survive winter, we can go and explore. Start our bee boxes, um, you know, build our wall. That can be basically what the next summer is. Uh, we've done well, and I just don't, I would hate to see it end. And there was part of me that got really legitimately frightened there for a second because I, I, I was really worried that that was going to be all she wrote for us. We're going to totally mess up our ability to get bees because there will have n no flowers to go to. And there's just, I, I can't do shit about the Hello, Blue Jim. Oh, well now I can totally make a spear, and I can totally, uh, kill the Snuffleupagus. Rotten eggs, huh? I don't think I- I really don't think I can cook with those, but whatever. Boy, the bees fucked those guys up. That was so good. Oh, we needed that. We needed help. We weren't gonna survive that on our own. They even messed with the penguins, didn't they? Or the penguins just left us behind. Huh. So we've seen the deer clops on this one? We've seen hellhounds. What is that? Can I eat it? That was crazy. And our stuff's coming in, man. Now we just need seeds, because we kind of pissed away our seeds. Alright. Add fuel. Wow, look at that. Harvest crop. That goes in there. What, what, what went in this one? Yeah, we had some monster meat in here. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm with it. I'm okay with this. We'll take our last pumpkin and put it in here with the cooked. Alright. Good. Good, good, good. Health is slowly but surely making it back. Um, Let's see if we can make a... Can we make a winter staff? Or, uh, the, uh, the, the ice staff again. I would love to make another one of those. Um, is it magic? Oh, 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 it's magic, you know? Yeah, it is. Alright, good. Now we can fight Snuffleupagus. Yeah, okay. Um. No, you know what? We owe McTusk an ass beating. I need a matching pimp stick. It's a long episode. I'm okay with that. 34 minutes. Good deal. Alright, good. Uh, yeah, maybe we'll deal with McTusk. I feel like we've... A, a, sorry, every time I think I hear something like breathing hard, I get a little worried. You know what? This is actually a pretty good place to start. We're in the middle of the night. It's been a half an hour. I'm gonna crack my bones. We've battled McTusk and lost. We've battled Hellhounds and we've gotten a draw uh, or... A, a tie, I guess, because we ended up letting the bees do our heavy lifting. We battled 
the deer clops in this episode. We've run into a lot of stuff, and like we've done so much without actually getting anything done. But I guess if nothing else, we've managed not to starve. So thank you guys for tuning in on behalf of the Mr. Wolfles channel in the cave. My name is Taffy. I have not starved, but I am out. <laughs>